In this lesson, you will learn how to make graphs of functions and identify the corresponding equations. Let's look at a problem together. Here you have a graph, and you're being asked to find the equation. So what do you need to do? Well, the easiest way to represent the graph of a line is to write the line in slope-intercept form. When you have an equation written in slope-intercept form, which is y equals mx plus b, you can clearly identify the slope of the line and the y-intercept of the line. In the equation y equals mx plus b, m represents the slope of the line, while b represents the y-intercept. Now recall that the y-intercept is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. And remember that the y-axis is this vertical axis right here. So let's begin by trying to find b. The x value of the y-intercept is always zero. So that's this main y-axis y line right here. Now see that the line crosses the y-axis at the point zero comma negative two. So we know that this is the point of intersection with the y-axis which means that the value of b is negative 2. So now let's begin to write in our equation. You have y equals mx minus 2, right? Because we have negative 2 being the value of b. Now what we need to do is identify the slope. There are a couple of different ways to do this, and I'll explain the first way, and that's going to be using the slope equation. So let me write that down for you. To use the slope formula, you need to find two points that fall on the line, and you make a fraction by subtracting two y values from the two x values. We've already found one point, which is the y-intercept, which we've written down as 0, comma, negative 2. Now let's find another point on the line. I see that the line falls right here, which is the point 1, 2. So when x equals 1, y equals 2. Now you can use these two points and fill in your slope formula. Let's take the second equation as x2, y2. So I'm going to subtract 2 minus negative 2, and I'm going to put that over 1 minus 0, 1 minus 0. So 2 minus negative 2 equals 4, and I'm going to write that down here, and then 1 minus 0 equals 1, so you get 4 over 1, which equals 4. And this means the slope of the line has a value of 4. To fill this into our equation, I'm just going to erase the m here and put in a 4. So now you know that the equation that represents the line shown in the graph is y equals 4x minus 2. Now there's another way that you could have written this equation, and you could have done that by simply looking at the points. Let me just erase these two marks we have here. So if I want to look at the graph, and I know that you know the point 1, 2 is a, is a point on the line, and then I'm going to go and try and find another point, and we know that we've got one right here. So you've got 0, negative 2. Now, the slope of the line is another way of saying the rise over the run. Now, the rise is associated with the y-axis, or the vertical axis, which is why when you have the slope formula, you have the y values on top. The run is associated with the horizontal distance between these two points. So what you need to do is go into the graph and count, first of all, how many units or how much e vertical distance exists between this point down here, 0 comma negative 2, and this point up here, 1 comma 2. So I go up 1, 2, 3, 4 on the vertical axis, so my rise is 4. Now let's find the run. So what you need to do is find the horizontal distance but between these two points. The run is 1. So I have a rise of 4, and a run of 1. And I get the same thing I did when I used the slope formula. So when you can easily identify two points that fall on the line, you can either use the slope formulas and the y equals mx plus b form of the line, finding the y-intercept and then finding the slope, or you can count the rise and run between any two points and see if you can easily identify the, uh, the y-intercept here. Now let's try another problem together. In this problem, you want to graph and identify the equation. So what you've been given is a table of input and output values. Now the x values will correspond to the x coordinates in the ordered pair x comma y. So what you need to do is look at these pairings. So you have negative 5, negative 1, which means that when x equals negative 5, y equals negative 1. Go into your graph and find that point. So the x value is the horizontal axis, so you go over from the origin 
five places to the left because it's negative. One, two, three, four, five. There's negative five. Now go down one because you have negative one as the y value. So there's your first point. Now go to the point zero, two. So when x equals zero, y equals two. x equals zero is the y-axis, and y equals two is right there. Now go to the next point. You have five, five. So when x equals five, y equals five. Let's go over five units to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Now five units up. One, two, three, four, five. And here's your point five comma five. And lastly, you have the point 10, eight. So when x equals 10, y equals eight. So go to 10 on the x-axis and eight on the y-axis. Now what you wanna do is connect these four points with a straight line. Okay, so there's our straight line connecting the four points from the input-output table. Now remember the slope-intercept form of a line equals y equals mx plus b. So we need to find b, which is the y-intercept. Remember that the y-intercept is the point at which the line crosses the y-axis. And when the line crosses the y-axis, the value of x is always zero. Now you can find the y-intercept by using the graph, or you can just look at the table. Notice here that when x equals 0, y equals 2. This is the y-intercept. And you can also see that reflected here. The line crosses the y-axis at the point 0, comma 2. So that means the value of b is 2. I'm going to fill that in. So now we need to find the slope. Again, you can use the slope formula, and you can connect any two points using that formula. So if you wanted to do 0, 2, and compare that to the next point, which is 5, 5, you would subtract the two y values. So m slope equals 5 minus 2. Now subtract the two x values, 5 minus 0. So you have m equals 5 minus 2, which is 3, over 5 minus 0, which is 5. So we have the slope of 3 fifths. That means the equation for the line given in the graph and from the table is y equals 3 fifths x plus 2. Now again, you can use the graph to find the slope as well. So look at any two points on the line. So we have one circle down here and we've got one circled up here. Remember that slope is the rise over the run between any two points. And the rise is the vertical distance and the run is the horizontal distance. So count what number falls what number is the vertical distance here, or the rise? So go from 2 up into uh, y equals 5, which is right here. 1, 2, 3. So 3 brings us the rise. The rise is 3. Now count how many times you have to go over for the run. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you had a rise of 3 and a run of 5. And that's the same thing that you got from the slope formula above. In this lesson, you've learned how to graph and identify equations of functions. Thanks for watching.